hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is ashley b deck and today we'll be doing a glueless lace wig install courtesy of west kiss hair now this is my og family and they sent over this beautiful glueless wig we're going to install her for beginners she is 16 inches 180 percent density body weight texture look at all of that body wave body wave and usually body waves is a little blunt but this one gives everything we need it's going to be a minimal install so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it so this is what the wig looks like inside they did include an elastic band and then they also have the 13 by 6 free part lace wig i did opt for a size small cap for a glueless fit and as you can also see that the hair line is absolutely gorgeous and nicely pre-plugged so this is going to be very easy Easy. like literally the one you need if you don't want to do much work at all this is what the curls look like from the back it's body weight but they definitely gave us a lot a lot of volume and I definitely love that for me so the only prep we're going to do is just to remove the lace you don't have to do tint the lace you don't have to pluck the lace you really don't have to do much at all also as I mentioned I did get a size small cap size small cap is what is going to fit glueless on me if I had gotten a medium or a large I may have had to bond it down so be sure to measure your head and make sure that you have the right um size for your wig to make it fit glueless as we go around the lace you definitely want to make sure you cut off all the less excess lace around the ears and this is what the hairline is looking like we definitely are going to tint the lace to make it even more seamless but we're going to do that as one of the last steps for the lace you can definitely add a lace tint underneath the lace before bonding her down or just installing her in general but again i wanted to do it at the very end and i think that worked out great for me as far as cutting off the excess lace you can use your shears you can use your household scissors i love a eyebrow razor and that's probably my favorite way to do so now let's go ahead and just decide how we want to style the hair as i showed you when i showed you the lace this is a free part so you have all of the room to switch up the parting to a center part a deeper side part curved part slanted part whatever you'd like you can even do like half up half down and fun other styles with this one i decided to just go with what they provided and in the meantime i'm just tinting the wig cap this is going to make sure that the wig cap does not show underneath the wig and i kind of like to push it back so that it's not too far up and at this point we're just going to go ahead and style the wig so i'm going to do the dynamic duo you guys know i love my wax stick paired with the electric hot comb i'm going to try and focus more so on like the base or like around the parting and the hair like the crown of the head if that makes any sense i really don't want to press out the curls and take away the body and volume that it, they provided but again around the parting and just around the hairline i really want it to look nice and flat which is why i'm not driving the hot comb like through the entire head and mainly just focusing it on like the first like few inches of the hair i did add a little bit of hairspray for a hold around the hairline and the crown as well and i pretty much love Love the way this was coming out i definitely was playing with it and decided do i want to switch up the parting do i want to um you know have the hair behind the ear or in front i'm going to take the edge control from bdecbd.com it is linked in the description box and of course this is my favorite edge control and i'm just going to take a little bit a little bit definitely goes a long way and i'm just going to go ahead and take care of my sideburns and push them back to be flat and smooth now look at how beautifully my edges blends with the hair um, on the wig when I do that little step. Now I'm going to go ahead and tint the lace. Here I am using a Ruby Kisses Concealer Palette and just finding the perfect shade for the um, lace for me. You could definitely go in and clean up the lace if you want it to be even more perfect. This is exactly how they parted it and I didn't see any problem with it. Sometimes it doesn't have to be like bone straight, perfect, perfect, perfect. Sometimes a little bit of imperfection makes it look even better. And then I took a foundation powder along the hairline. This is also from Ruby Kisses and also from Amazon. So I'll have it in the description box. And this is the final result. As again, this is a glueless install. So you don't have to bond anything down. You definitely have the option to do so if you choose. But I prefer to wear my wigs glueless when I can. You can also add a wig grip underneath the wig. And this is going to help to make sure that the wig stays in place. and doesn't slide around at all. As far as the curl you can add a little bit of serum or an oil sheen you can even touch up the curls and change them if you like i felt no need to do so but i did go ahead and 
at the spritz and just kind of just pressed it in the hairline I didn't apply enough to make it like stick to my head I just wanted to get rid of any powdery sensation along the hairline and just make sure that everything looked flat and perfect and I got into my music and that's pretty much it Okay, ladies, so we are done with the look. This one came from West Kiss. Let me give you guys a quick 360. It's a nice, cute little lob, long bob, and I'm here for it. It is long enough that when I go work out, because you guys know I am a Pilates girl, I go five days a week. So far, I went Monday. Tuesday and then I have it tonight for my third day and then I have Thursday and Friday and I will be a full five days I'm an unlimited Pilates girl So I definitely am trying to take advantage of the unlimited feet that I pay and do a low little pony for Pilates and just add a little sweatband around and give it a vibe and it is long enough It's short enough to be a bob lob I guess you can say but still long enough to fit into a ponytail to support my athletic lifestyle That sounds weird me saying that I wasn't the athletic girl ever not even in high school So anyways, this one came from West Kiss I feel like if you go and scroll and scroll for days on my page one of the OG companies I was working with originally when I first started doing hair tutorials but like five years ago six years ago West Kiss was one of the first OGs that I was working with so that is crazy to me that we are still um, working together here and there so this one here is a 10a grade 16 inch human hair wig it's 180% density and I do have a size small cap now this is glueless and I'm gonna show you in a minute I have it I did a little thing to melt, but I'll talk about that in a minute, but it's 100% glueless. But this one is from West Kiss, as I mentioned, and inside was the wig as well as some goodies. So you do get, I believe this is a blue bonnet. Fun fact, navy blue is my favorite color. So um, I do like to keep the goodies for you guys. So whenever you get packages from me during the wig sale, it's usually loaded with like at least two, three, four free goodies. This is like my favorite color. Dream car, a G-Wagon, and a... Rolls Royce both in this color and it is double-sided so the inside is like a, a white it's like an ivory color but I'm gonna be wearing it on the blue side so this is super cute also inside the package I did get some lashes that say West Kiss on it or the packaging does melt belt that wraps the West Kiss edge brush wig caps and then you definitely got a desk bag and it says West Kiss and has their logo and it also has their social media handles on the back. So you are good to go as far as storage and travel of your wig goes. Now, as I mentioned, this one is a beautiful 180. Did I say 16 inch 180% bob? And look how melted the hairline looks with no baby hair at all. So when you want to wear your wigs glueless the key to it is to use like a extra hold hairspray that you typically would use for a glueless install to kind of press it in on that first day and then lift it that way it just appears more smushed in the lace appears thin more camouflage because sometimes even though the wig fits glueless the lace is nice and thin you can kind of just see it sitting on top and you kind of just really want to focus on pressing it in the like non-product way to do it obviously is to use like the melt belt they provided i also provide them on bwd.com and you just wear your melt belt on your hairline like as you're getting ready in the morning just like five minutes when you're like brushing your teeth and brushing your hair out and putting your bra on put that melt belt on there so that the um lace kind of just will suction in so it just looks um, a lot more seamless when you do that with most lace um, but this is as I mentioned a glueless install so it's had time to kind of go in that product and just marry but as you guys can see when I put my um, comb in it was never bonded down and the residue you see is a residue from me adding that product um, it was just never bonded down I just like I said added that product to kind of just make it look like skin if that if that makes any sense as far as the ends they came nice and curled I don't want to disturb the beautiful curl pattern that they provided so I did go ahead and just like comb it out a little bit I kind of play with it a little bit too much but it kind of is a good thing so you see like I, I like overly overly combed it and the curl did not fall um 
so that's perfect so all i really had to do was add a little bit of um powder and concealer to the hair i did concealer but then i really needed the powder so i did powder again this one came from west kiss so go ahead and check out the description box on your way out there you'll find a direct link to this beauty you also find all the products we use today as always i'll see you in the next one smooches <laughs>